Hi fellow dreamers, in this video we're going to explore dreams of falling. After that I'm going to share with you some of the cool stuff we're doing with our dream journals and our dream catchers. Thanks for joining everybody, my name is Carolina. As you know I focus on doing children's books like these right here that promote love, unity, and peace and I also help my followers interpret their dreams. We do this because when we listen to our dreams we're connecting to our subconscious and when we share them we connect with one another on a more profound level. So let's get started with those dreams of falling. Now there are various ways to look at these dreams but today we're going to look at two general ways okay the first way is a lot of you've been saying that when you dream you're falling you feel fearful you feel scared okay let's explore what this can mean if this is how your dream is number one we've connected with the feeling okay number two it's time to look at who was with us in the dream were we by ourselves were there other people there it's very important that you can kind of pinpoint what was going on during the dream story okay because that's going to help you reflect it outward remember it's so important to reflect it outward what we mean by this is look at waking state okay <clears throat> excuse me what is that situation okay what is that person what is that thing going on in waking state that connects so much with this dream state imagery okay and with the dream state feelings all right let's explore this deeper so that everybody can understand this so it could be a situation maybe there's a situation going on in waking state that you feel you know what this situation is out of control it is blown out of proportion i don't know what to do okay it could be a situation it could be a person maybe you're interacting with a particular person that when you're around this person for whatever reason you do things that are out of control or you feel that maybe they are out of control okay if you can pinpoint the person then you can provide love to that situation now third let's look at the self okay let's reflect this inward for a moment because it's important that we do this with every dream am i feeling like i am out of control remember we talk about the importance of being in unity with the self okay being in unity with love unity and peace right all of that if we are not in unity with ourself let's say that we're doing things that maybe we normally would not do it can make us feel a little bit out of control so once we can pinpoint is this a situation is this a person or is this the self that is feeling out of control then we can proactively do something about it remember that's why we interpret our dreams so that way we understand where we are but then we question ourselves is this where i want to be or do i want to be proactive about this and provide more loving energy to this situation okay so that's one way of looking at it basically the dream is saying you're out of control uh let's pinpoint what is out of control in waking state and let's bring some healing energy to it all right now let's look at this a whole different way because sometimes a few of you have said you dream that you're falling but you say when you're falling you're actually not feeling afraid you're actually feeling like a sense of release okay and this can very well be true for a lot of us okay if you're feeling kind of okay with the fact that you're falling maybe you're even feeling a little peaceful as you're falling down okay it all depends on what you're feeling but if this is indeed the feeling this actually is a different meaning for you okay this can actually mean that you're at a point in your life where you are releasing you are letting go okay so we can do the same thing when you're falling and you're feeling that sense of letting go who's around you are you around a few people are you by yourself this is going to be important because remember when we reflect it outward this is going to help us find out do i feel like i've just kind of let go of a particular situation have i finally let go of that person that maybe wasn't benefiting me anymore maybe they weren't helping me grow have i let go of that person am i okay with that okay and then thirdly it could be an aspect of yourself have you let a particular um, part of yourself go something that maybe you felt was holding you back right it's important that we can kind of pinpoint this too because then we have a moment of celebration when you're having a dream that you're falling and you're feeling okay with it you're feeling calm with it it's letting you know yes you've released that you've essentially let that go you're not worried about that anymore okay so oftentimes when people have these dreams of falling they assume it has kind of a negative um i guess meaning right but it doesn't always do that it doesn't always do that remember dream state is simply a loving place that brings you alerts lets you know hey this is how we're doing and now it's up to you once you realize this is how i'm doing do i a you know keep on doing this because it feels good or number two am i going to do something different because i don't like how this feels right i want to bring more love more healing energy to my life right now it's up to you how you want to uh, do that but the important thing is is that you know what that check-in is with the self and that is all that dream state shows you it's a little check-in with the self of how you're doing i hope this video was helpful on falling we also have other videos on falling if your dream is different let us know because remember someone falling can have a different meaning depending on what you're feeling who you're with etc so send us your dreams let us know the specifics and we will explore them together now guys 
want to let you know we're working on a couple of really cool things as you've seen our dream journals okay we have been um okay somebody has donated dream journals to us and we have been painting them okay we've been painting them and we are actually going to be offering these we're offering these to people and what we're doing with uh, all the proceeds the proceeds are going to go to the sidewalk school in mexico okay matamoros mexico you remember guys back in 2018 when um, lupita and the magic of mexico came out we donated um you know x amount of funds i can't remember the percentage but we gave funds to them uh, as we were selling some of those bugs so um, we also donated books, actually. We donated the Lupita and the Magic of Mexico books. So what we're going to do with this one is uh, when we sell these, these are $20 each. And really, all of that, the $20 is going to go directly to the sidewalk school. And if you don't remember, the sidewalk school is on the border of um, Mexico and the U.S. And basically, it's for children asylum seekers, right? Children asylum seekers waiting uh, for their turn and hoping to come into the United States. And as you know, I have a very uh, deep connection with this because I'm an immigrant myself, right? I came to this country when I was two years old and um, I talk a little bit, uh, well, this book, Lupita and the Magic of Mexico connects with that, right? It connects with that portion of, of my life and it's kind of a celebration of that. So I have a very, um, you know, I have a very special place in my heart for the sidewalk school. So that's where the funds are going to be going and we're so excited to bring that to them. This is our last journal here. Okay, and we're going to be painting more because we have so many dream journals. So if you're interested, whichever one of these you connect with, send me a message below. Let me know, hey, I connected with this one, right? And then we'll set up a little PayPal thing and then we can get these uh, out to you. Okay, we'll get those out to you. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is our dream catchers. Okay, our dream catchers, we're doing a raffle. Like uh, a lot of you know, the ones that follow us on TikTok will know that we started the raffle on TikTok Live, okay? And I'm gonna show these to you as I explain. But what we're gonna do is on live TikTok, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, you have a chance to enter for a free dream catcher, okay, for our raffle. That's one way to enter. Another way to enter is you can share some of our videos. You can pick your favorite YouTube video, Facebook video, TikTok video, whichever video that you connect with that we've made, uh, share it with five of your friends, encourage them to check us out and just send me a screenshot. And you can do that unlimited times. And as you do that, we will include you in this raffle, okay? And we will send these to you so that way you can have your very own dream catcher. All right, we've got a lot of these, so we're going to be having fun with uh, with doing this raffle. Remember, on TikTok Live on Wednesdays, or you can share some of our videos with five of your friends and send me a screenshot. But guys, I hope uh, that this video was helpful. Remember, send us your dreams, but when you do, include the feelings. Okay, let us know what you are feeling in the dream, and as much as you can remember, okay, because remember, every uh, kind of symbol is going to have a different meaning for different people the more details you give us about the dream the easier it will be for us to connect with that feeling connect with those images okay and provide the proper interpretation for you but guys i send you a huge huge hug i send you love unity and peace and we will be in contact bye everybody bye.